According to the dictionary, a mascot is an animal, person, or thing adopted by a group as its representative symbol and supposed to bring good luck. For teams such as the Washington Redskins football team, Atlanta Braves, and Cleveland Indians baseball teams, their chosen mascots represent stereotypical images of Native Americans. While these logos were deemed acceptable at the time they were created, and fans revered them even today, there has been an increasing call to remove these and other racially or politically insensitive mascots from sports teams. This is due to the increasing political pressure from repressed groups such as the Comanche and Cherokee Nations, in addition to political groups like the NAACP and ACLU to pressure the NFL, MLB, and other sport organizations to change the names of offensive mascots. The controversy has even reached the attention of the U.S. government. On June 18, 2014, the Trademark and Trial Appeal Board, a department of the U.S. Patent Office, declared that all six of the Washington Redskins trademarks were to be canceled due to the term Redskin being disparaging towards Native Americans. Because of the team's loss of the trademark, anyone would now be able to use the logo and name without having to get permission from the team's ownership. Even with this loss of the trademark, owner Dan Snyder is adamantly against changing the team name. Dan Snyder has held firm under some protest that he will not change the nickname of his team. Washington Redskins is more than a name we have called our football team for over eight decades. It is a symbol of everything we stand for, strength, courage, pride, and respect. One TV show even went on to parody Dan Snyder's ironic stance on the subject by reversing the roles of in those who are offended decency, and the person I'm who refuses to change the team name. Stop using the name Washington Redskins to refer to your company. Stop? But why? You have no right to use our name to get attention. Uh, the trademark got pulled, so I'm totally free to use the name, actually. Look, don't you see that when you call your organization the Washington Redskins, it's offensive to us? How is it offensive? It's derogatory, Mr. Cartman. It makes us feel like a joke! Guys, guys! I have total respect for you. When I named my company Washington Redskins, it was out of deep appreciation for your team and your people. Throughout the South Park episode titled Go Fund Yourself, show creators Matt Stone and Trey Parker use this role reversal to mock Dan Snyder's stance as they seek to influence their viewers to be against the Redskin name. There's nothing sweet about a people who were decimated. A once proud nation that finally lost hope and left their leader to be massacred by cowboys in a defiant last stand. Across the nation, professional, colleges, and even high schools can be found that have mascots and logos that are not respectful to the population group they are meant to honor or represent. It is important for sports teams, especially schools, to create an inclusive atmosphere for fans and students. As Texas Senator Rodney Ellis said in a letter to the Houston Chronicle, when we honor hate at our schools, we teach hate to our children. Having a mascot that is named after a racial slur or a logo that represents a stereotypical caricature of an ethnic group does not honor that group. It only serves to continue the cycle of teaching hate. Instead, schools and teams like the Washington Redskins should change their mascot and logo to properly reflect the citizens of their city and fans of their team.